Another video on your boy Fat Cat. We got Garage Driven, Modern Day Muscle down below. If you don't know, you're watching Free Smoke, home of your automotive news for the culture. Let's go to get into it, man. Yo, first thing we got on the plate for y'all today. Yo, comma, cat man, running into a little bit of heat. He said in the video, man, every time he go back to like his his neighborhood, his old town or whatever, shit is like always, you know, endless thing. It always it always happens for some reason. Yo, he got stopped for swerving. That was that was the that was the word swerving, and I guess the car in front of him I guess you know swerved around a pothole, and they pulled over him and the other car. Wow! <laughs> it was wow. yo, it was honestly you could just hear it was this pointless pullover, bro. Just by the way the officer spoke, it's like man, y'all need to do better out there, man, officers. You know what I mean? Like come on, bro. You better hit you better hit them potholes. What's wrong with you? Yeah, like yo, you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta do better than that. And three squad cars for that. Yeah, three, three squad, squad cars out there. Yeah, bro. Just like, you know, swear these dudes is moving bricks. You know what I'm saying? They got them. <laughs> hey, Can't but, no um, bricks. <laughs> we, we, got, we got one, sir. We got one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, well, Kamikaze kept everybody cool. here. He kept us cool, though. You know what I'm saying? He, he was a little agitated at first, man. You could just tell, but like, the end of the day, man, it is what it is, man. Like, yo, you know what I'm saying? You you can't control the situation, man. These dudes are really in control. You just got to try and keep level-headed. And just, you know what I'm saying? Let them do their job, man, at the end of the day. The main objective is to, go, to get home. The main objective is to get home. Right. Yes, and, 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 and sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, you know, it, it's, it almost seems like they like they agitate just enough. Like, they do it on purpose just to just to kind of get that. Push your buttons just to kind of get that um, mm -hmm. reaction out of you. So then now they could, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, they could have stepped forward. I don't want to take it there as far as, you know what I'm saying? Now they want to, you know what I'm saying? They, whatever pull guns and i don't want to take it there but i do think that they do push buttons to see if they can get you riled up because now they can slap some more charges on you or give you another fine or give you whatever you know what i'm saying because or, or or even just arrest you you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day man like it's just crazy that we got to deal with that period you know what i'm saying so i don't know it's it, it yo a shout out to coming cat man you know what I'm saying, for keeping this cool and you know what I'm saying not making the Unfortunately, sorry, sad to say that we even got to say it, but for not making the situation worse, even though that's not what <laughs> you know, what I'm saying like we shouldn't have to like do that. All right, I'm just gonna sit here hey, and listen, not do nothing, just make the situation worse. I'm gonna say something. This is what I do when I get stopped. I did recently when I got stopped when we was out with CJ on 32s and Rel and all those dudes, right? I do it all the time. I mean, I haven't been stopped in years at that point, but when I was younger, a friend of mine always said, Yo, just turn on every light in the car, bro and put all the windows down. And that's why I see a lot of people go wrong. You know, your car's tinted dark and you have your windows up in the rear. No matter your driver windows down or whatever, you're talking to the cop, they can't see what's going on in the back seat. So they're already on edge. Any move you make or something, that's when something goes down, you know what I mean? Your best bet, turn on all the lights that you can. It's a, it's, most times there's one switch you can hit and all your dome lights will come on. Drop all four windows. That lets the officer know right then and there, listen. I ain't got shit to hide in here. You can see it. Right. Yep. Another thing, another thing that I do is, um, which you know, just a suggestion, not something you should do. But for me, when I'm riding, I keep my vehicle registration and my insurance right there, you know, on, on the shade. So if I do get pulled over, I have it immediately, and I'm able to hand it before the cop gets there. You know, with all, all my windows down and everything. But that's just a suggestion. Nah, I mean, yeah, I, but I was, you know, I, I, I was digging for my stuff. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, you know but, but you know what though, like like the Windows down thing, I think does actually because I, I and the once or twice that I got, I think I only got stopped once in this car, yeah. And, and and I did do that. I put the windows down, whatever. Just again, just as a thing to say, look, man, I'm I'm not trying to give no friction. I don't got nothing to hide in here. You know, say and and, and and nine times out of ten, they're like, all right, well, you know, say if this person, you know, is willing to show me everything that's in the car, if I'm like me just walking up, but I, I can see the back. You know, saying I can see this, I can see that. Hey, man, I'm just gonna, you know, either give him his ticket, give him whatever, and just let him go. You know, what I'm saying or, or give him his ticket, give him warning, whatever it is, and let him go. But at least, yeah. at least, you know, what I'm saying from the beginning, he was like, I, I didn't have to like, I didn't have you're to. You're defusing the situation. Yeah, you're defusing right. the situation. Mm-hmm. Cause he didn't have to wake up like yo i don't got a poke to be like hey you know what's here hey what's there is anybody in the back you know what i'm saying so if you just show up from the beginning look man i ain't got nothing in here we good we good now should it be like that that's no. arguable you know what i'm saying yeah. but at yeah, the end of the have... day it is what it is you know what i'm saying yeah it shouldn't have to be like to that home. but honestly it's the easiest way to just yo that right there exactly. it tells tells the cop alone listen i'm inviting you to a to, to a non-hostile situation here Ain't shit going on, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's the best option, man. Just do it. Hey, you ain't gonna have no problems. Hey, I even handle my concealed license weapon, like I mean, my, my concealed, like my ID, like with my license, like here yeah, you yeah. go. And yeah. yo, he he didn't even ask you was there a weapon in the car, and then he just assumed. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm guessing he assumed it is in the car, so it is what it is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But but when you putting everything down, it's like yo, look, man, I ain't got nothing to hide from you. Yeah, I'm not trying to reach for something. I'm not, like you got clear vision of everything that's going on. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to hide nothing from you. So yes, I got a, I got my I got my concealed carry. Is it in the car? More than likely, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. but at the end of the day, like that's... I said, if they come and they see that they come and they see that you're not trying to hide that, you're not trying to hide anything. He can see clearly. He or she can see clearly in the car. There's nothing, there's nothing to talk about. Yeah, so, that's actually the main reason why I put my pay if it, it work in the shade so that I don't have to you know reach for nothing. I just grab it from up top and then boom like that that's actually the main reason why i do that because i have ever concealed as well there you go man so hey but yo that, that's your suggestion man like i said everybody handles a situation different i know and you know i know you know saying whether it is are some things right or some things wrong like i said all that stuff is arguable we shouldn't have to do this we shouldn't have to do that we shouldn't have to prove to the cops nothing i get it i trust me I get it. and i understand <laughs> but i know it i know exactly like i what I don't want to do also is, you know, have my three kids have to bury me because I just wanted to be arrogant for whatever reason and prove that you know, I'm a grown ass man. You don't, you don't tell me what you do. I just want to come home, man, and be able to see my three kids, my wife, and call it a day and tell them the fucked up story that happened earlier today. Like, can you believe what happened to me? At least I'm able to tell them. At least I'm able to tell them. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You know, they don't gotta watch it on social media or whatever and this and that or the news. Live to fight another fight, guys. Live to fight another fight. Because the fight sure. that you're trying to fight right there, you're not gonna win. But you may win that fight in court though after the fact. Mm-hmm. Just saying. So yo, if anyway, doing, man. If you're doing the right things. So well, go ahead. Let's yeah. move on. Yeah, let's we, move on, man. We gotta let's move, move on, man. We talked about it enough. <laughs> definitely beating up. Beating that live horse is definitely it's not dead, it's live. Yeah, that's a live. But, <laughs> but, but we but we still beating the hell out that horse, you know what I'm saying? So no animal yeah. beats good, you know what I'm saying? Yo, second thing we got on the menu for y'all today, man. Yo, we talk about Mr. Organic, man. Yo, Mr. Organic seems to always be having trouble, man, with these new whips that he's buying or new to him whips that he's buying, man. Now we got the 488, man. Come on, what is going on here? Hey, yo, listen, we all know that these supercars, you can't let them sit, man. Which is, uh, it's it's really, it's really kind of like stupid in a way. It's like... You, you, they expect you to drive these cars, or you got to just trickle charge them all the time. They got to be sitting on the charger. So he got he let the car sit for a few days, and there you go, battery dead, man. It's crazy. But uh, yo, yeah, LACD LACD JR was able to come out there and bless him with a jump start, man. Hey, and Sean said, "I don't want no problems. <laughs> I don't want no problems." <laughs> Organic was like, "Yo, don't worry, bro. You ain't got to worry about that, man." But Mr. Organic a fool, man, yo, you know what I'm saying? He he was he was acting a fool after that thing got started, man. Go back and watch the video. He did some funny ass shit that I couldn't stop laughing, bro. I'm telling y'all, yo. But yeah, man, shout out to Mr. Organic, man. He got the car running. You know what I'm saying? He got two supercars that he got to go ahead and worry about. Make sure those things don't die out. Because you know that McLaren, that shit famous for that. No, notorious. Yes. 
So no Ferrari, well, that was a surprise for the Ferrari, but the other McLaren, yeah, drive that shit every day. I think I, I think I think it's I think it's because they do you know they got so many intricate parts, man. That the it's car running. is never re- the car is never really like asleep. Asleep, you know what yep. I'm saying? It's true. Yeah, it, it, it's just always something checking this, checking that, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. So the computer's just always on and and and, and going, man. So yeah, so if you don't, it, you got I'm, these I'm cars, sh- man. Make sure you hit put them on the trickle charger for sure, especially if you let them sit for a couple of days. Hey, man, you know, Dodge might not be supercars, but, yo, you know what I'm saying? We got them issues, too. If you let your Dodge Charger or Challenger sit for too long, it's going to die. It's the same thing. These cars are, like, never asleep. They're always doing something, it seems like. You know what I mean? So, drive your vehicles, man. Don't let them sit too long, guys. Just a heads up from the Free from the free Smoke Squad. From the Free Smoke Squad? Yeah, man. But, yo, big time. We're not going to keep too long on it, man, because we already know we talked about it death in the first topic. So, yo... Big time shout out to Mr. Organic Man. Big time shout out to Kama Cat Man for, for killing out there as well. Yo, um, don't forget, man, Gap Fest is June 5th, man. Free Smoke will be out there. You should be there too. Hit up Stunner Reese uh, IG for more information or go to demonology638.com. Purchase the tickets there. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be dope. Trust me, trust me, trust me. It's going to be dope. Um, also, don't forget this Sunday. 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern, we have um, uh, uh, Racer X. Man, okay, man, we got, we got Racer X in the building. It's going to be super dope, man, to have Racer X in the building, man, talk about everything and all his products that he got going on, man, between him, his wife, man, his wife, be, he, he be killing on the track, his wife be killing on the track. So we got a lot to talk about when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, a, a lot of uh, fast whips and a lot of, um, you know, uh, 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 Murdering people's on the tracks all over the place. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do, man. Him and his wife, they'd be out there slaying people. They'd be killing, bro. <laughs> Yo, yeah. So we definitely gonna talk about that, man. I'm not sure if his wife's gonna be able to make it. Uh, I think she, I think he told me she might be at work. Um, so we're gonna see. Hopefully she can make it. If not, we'll just have race X on. But definitely gonna be a good combo either way. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all come in and, and, and rock out with us, man, for the hour. That's all we got. Garage driven, mind the muscle. Anything else for the people? I just want to say appreciate you guys, man. We'll catch you guys in the next video, man. Stay tuned. Yeah, man. I'm going to keep it short. Catch you guys in the next video. Appreciate you watching. There you go, man. Yo, we got like three XLs left. If you want one you know, three, uh, from our original shirts, if you want one, hit us up in our DMs, free underscore smoke underscore official. Hit us up there and, uh, you know what I'm saying, we, we can hook you up with a shirt if you are a size extra large. We don't have anything else. We are still working on getting the, you know what I'm saying, the website and everything else up and running for all the shirts that are going to be available for purchase. We have three designs literally already ready. We just got to get everything else up and running. So everything could be proficient for y'all. Y'all can order, get your shirts. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? But we, just be patient. All right. But we're going to get there. Um, that's all we have. Appreciate y'all for watching one more time. Yo, bless up to everyone out there. Big time salute. Shout out to the Free Smoke Squad. You know you're watching Free Smoke. We do this for the culture. We out of here. Later.